Hey guys, Menini here. So in this video, I am gonna do a Q&A. Um, recently I've gotten like asked to do one a lot, so I thought it was a good time to do it now. So the first question is, do you think you and Andy will stay in Denmark? I really want to move to Britain. Um, what are you looking for? Boyfriend interruption. <laughs> Um, but I don't think I will ever move back to Norway. Um, maybe get a cabin there uh, so I can go on vacation. Um, but I don't think I will ever move back there. How did you discover Wicca? That's actually a funny story. I don't know if I've told it before. Um, but in Norway, we have we had the subject called RLE. Now it's called KRLE, where RLE stands for religion. Uh, life vision and ethics now it stands for Christianity religion and ethics but yeah in that book in that subject uh, there was a tiny little like footnote about Wicca and witches I don't remember exactly what it stood there but I saw those two words so I had to search it up because I like fantasy stuff and I found more about it, like what it really is, and it got my, me really like intrigued, like, hmm, this is exciting. And so I converted it from Christianity to uh, Wicca. How long time did it take to convert? For me, it took a day of reading and I was like, <laughs> I found my religion. Uh, what does people around you say about it? Uh, I don't actually know. I have no one who has like said anything about it, like, they know it, but I don't. I haven't really gotten any comments besides like, oh, that sounds exciting, but that's it. Do you and Andy have plans on getting married? Okay, <laughs> we've talked about it. We don't want a normal wedding. Uh, both of us want hand fastening, which is both in my Wicca and also in also true, which is he is um, also true Wicca. He's just also true. So that's that's something we have talked about. Yeah. Um, but nothing has happened yet. There's no rings on the finger, so... How many pets do you have? Um, we have two cats, uh, Belded and uh, Tazan. And then we have two cockatiels, uh, Luna and Aiden. And then we have tons of parrots, uh, budgies upstairs. So we have a few, and then my mom has a dog, and my dad has a dog. How long did it take for you and Addy to confess your feelings? It took basically half a year. <laughs> how did you get to know each other? I have already made a video on how I met him. Uh, I will put it up here in the corner here, I think. Uh, but it was basically just Skyping and texting a lot, and a little bit Snapchat. Marvel versus DC. Marvel. Easy. What is your favorite subject in school? If we're talking like children's school, it must be music and arts and crafts. But in the school I'm in now, I like um, health class. It's, like, um, it's kind of psycho psychology class, but it's also with some other stuff. And English. Do you miss Norway? Yes, I, I do miss Norway. I don't miss the government, uh, but I miss the people in it and the things I used to do in there. If you could have three wishes, what, what would it be? I would move all of my friends and family down here to Denmark, around where I live. Two, um, I would take away all the, what is it called? Taxes and loans loans and stuff like that, like money stuff, so they can use the money on whatever they want. And three, I would stop hatred in the world. Can you do more challenges videos? I definitely can, just give me some challenges. I am very bad at finding challenges. And I don't know what kind of challenges you wanna watch, but if you comment some challenges, I will definitely do them. Favorite makeup brand? Yeah, NYX. NYX. NYX is a good brand. What do you feel about sushi? I love sushi. I love Asian food in general. Just give me all of it and I'll eat it the rest of my life. 
Do you like tattoos and piercings? If so, what would you get? Well, I already have this tattoo here, uh, Aquarius. I don't know which way you can see it, but yeah, that's my first tattoo. I have this one. I have this one and this one and I have this one uh, and that one. I am getting a tattoo in, how long is it? Uh, one week and one day, I am getting a tattoo. And it's gonna be here. It's gonna be every rose has its torn tattoo uh, with a rose with some different colors and then a note saying every rose has its torn. It's still in design production, so I'm getting to know how it looks like once she's done. And I will vlog that day if you want that. What do you do daily? Uh, I don't know. I research a lot about Vika. I cuddle a lot with my boyfriend. We also have a lot of discussions. Um, I cuddle with the cats and birds. I go to school. And the game. Uh, and I eat. I pee, I take a shit, I drink, both with and without alcohol sometimes, so... <laughs> Will you ever go to Australia? I really want to. Um, we're watching this uh, tattoo um, show, uh, Bandy, I think it's called, Bondi, Bondi, Bondi Inc. And seeing Australia from that point of view, I really want to go there. We talked about we wanted to go there yesterday. So, yeah, I, I would go there. How long have you and Annie been together? In one week and one, two, three, four, five days. One week and five days, me and Andy have been together for two years. <laughs> Do you miss your school band in Norway? Oh, this came from a girl from the school band. Yes, I really miss it. I miss it so bad. I often dream about the school band. It meant so much to me. So leaving that, that is probably one of the hardest things ever because I can't go visit the school band like I can visit my family. And I can't re-enter without having to pay a lot and take a long time going back and forth. So. Yeah, I really, really miss the school band. The most embarrassing thing that have happened to you? Uh, <laughs> this thing I can't remember myself, but I know it's true. Uh, this summer when my best friend Cecilia and her ex-boyfriend Hans Martin were on visit with uh, Cecilia's dad, they rented the, this summer house um, over in Nuro in Denmark and I was there with them and we were watching a lot of comedians on Netflix and we also got some alcohol from them um, and I that's when I learned that I am piss weak to vodka I had taken a few glasses with vodka and Sprite and I was blacked out I blacked out and I got to know that the night table beside the bed I was borrowing I sat down took my pants down and I peed <laughs> and I was piss mad at Andy I can remember being mad at him I don't know why but I was piss mad at him so that's one of the most embarrassing things yeah did it hurt getting the tongue piercing? <laughs> the video I have, I am overreacting so much because I am scared of needles. I am. But taking it, this is the least painful piercing I've ever taken. It's nothing compared to septum and uh, dice piercing. So, no, it's not really painful. I am just overreacting. If you could change anything in the world, what would it be? Take all the cruelty and hatred in the world, basically. That's what I would do. How was your day? Did, my, my day is my day has been fine. It's been good. Uh, top ten pet peeves. 
Okay, so I had to research this question because pet peeves I didn't know it was. But as far as understood, it means things I hate or get annoyed over. Okay. Um, when Andy is annoying, um, I hate negative people. I, pe I hate people who cause negative stuff, physical or mentally, to other people. I hate being hungry. <laughs> um, I hate when time feels like it's going very slow. Mm, I hate cold, like things being cold or it's blowing and it gets cold. I hate that. Um, I I hate the airport. It takes a long and it's boring and it's often there's declines and things are moved and stress I hate stress <clears throat> that's the thing I hate um, I don't know I can't really think of anything else have you ever been catfished no I haven't what's the main difference between Norway and Denmark Denmark cheap stuff people open-minded Norway the government is sucked up I do like reptiles. Yeah, I do. So thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these kind of things. And I'll see you in the next video.